Do you eat enough fruit and vegetables? It has been shown that dietary patterns rich in fruits and vegetables help you reduce the risk of developing diabetes, cardiovascular disease, and other chronic diseases. Despite many public campaigns and educational efforts to increase consumption, their intakes remain low. Most of us know that we should be eating more fruits and vegetables, at least five servings a day, and we are aware of their multiple benefits. Millions of people over the world already enjoy them, but others still don't. What are you waiting for? Bright fruits will help you. Consuming them is an effective way to incorporate more fruit into your diet, and research has shown that they improve your blood sugar control and reduce your risk of developing type 2 diabetes. Dried fruits have what we call a low to moderate glycemic index, or GI, which indicates the impact of a food on the levels of blood sugar. Glucose, for example, has a GI of 100, white bread has a GI of about 70, and an apple has a GI of around 40. The higher the food's glycemic index, the greater its impact on your blood sugar. So, if you're trying to maintain a normal blood sugar level, choose foods with a low GI. And when you do eat something with a high glycemic index, combine it with a low GI food for a more balanced effect. A study was conducted revealing that dried fruits may help you lower blood sugar response. The study analyzed the effect of combining dried fruits and white bread, a common lead in high GI carbohydrate food. This study investigated the effect on the glycemic index of four dried fruits when eaten alone and when consumed with white bread. Ten participants were included in the study. Each of them took a total of 15 meals, three white bread meals and 12 dried fruit meals. Blood samples were taken from each participant before and after each meal. Results showed that all four dried fruits, when eaten alone, had a low to medium GI, lower than the GI of white bread. In addition, when a half portion of dried fruits were combined with white bread, displacing half of its carbohydrate, the blood sugar response was reduced, and all meals resulted in a medium GI. The conclusion of the study was that dried fruits lower the blood glucose response to white bread through the displacement of high GI carbohydrates. In conclusion, if you want to keep your blood sugar levels normal and if you want to reduce the risk of developing type 2 diabetes, dried fruits may help you, especially when substituting other GI carbohydrate food sources in the context of a healthy diet. Join the trend and go for a healthier diet now. Eat more dried fruits for better health. Discover more at nutfruit.org.